Today is Tuesday, the 15th of November. It's the start of the high-level session here in uh, Morocco, Marrakesh at COP22. Uh, many prime ministers and heads of state are in town uh, at the, as guests of the King of Morocco. And we had the opening of the Paris Agreement's first meeting, the CMA, it's called CMA1, which is the meeting of the parties of the Paris Agreement. But it was just a ceremonial opening. Uh, it's not a substantive one. There's no business going to be done here. It's just adjourned, opened and adjourned. It was a ceremonial and symbolic occasion. We now have Paris Agreement uh, up and running. <clears throat> but nothing much happened in the negotiation. So I'm going to talk about an issue that I've been following and a side event that we did. And that is the issue of capacity building, which in the Paris Agreement has a new article, Article 11, on capacity building under which a new Paris Committee on Capacity Building has been set up. Uh, and nominations have been received and they should be done. Uh, the committee should be set up hopefully within the next day or so here in Marrakesh and then they'll be able to start doing their work to uh, that they've been mandated to do to look at <coughs> capacity building and how to improve it. And the big issue in the area of capacity building is how to invest in long-term capacity building rather than in short-term uh, capacity that has been done so far by flying in international consultants doing a workshop and flying out. This flying in, flying out uh, international consultant modality does not build long-term capacity and everybody knows that and accepts that and they are thinking about how do we now build long-term capacity. So ICAD, the International Center for Climate Change and Development, together with the Qadi Ayad University here in Marrakesh, held a side event hosted by Qadi Ayad, where we brought together about 50 people from different universities, and we discussed how universities in different countries, both in the developed countries and the developing countries, can be engaged in building capacity on climate change mutually, each other's, South-South cooperation, South-North cooperation, and how can we harness all the capacity that exists and capacity building systems that exist to support the Paris Committee on Capacity Building once it's set up. So I'm very pleased to say that Qadi Ayad University has agreed to take the initiative together with uh, ICAD uh, to set up a, uh, a network at the moment, we haven't named ourselves yet, of universities that want to develop mutual capacity building programs, reinforcing each other, but in support of the Paris Agreement and particularly Article 11 of the Paris Agreement and supporting the Paris Committee on Capacity Building. We will be having a second uh, side event in the UNFCC uh, Blue Zone on the 17th where we will bring all the Ringos. The Ringos are the research and independent NGOs, many of whom are universities, many of whom are think tanks, some are also NGOs. Uh, together and also getting them to engage along with the network that we've established today to support the Paris Committee on Capacity Building. And once that committee is set up, we will engage with the members of that committee to see how we can continue to support them.